Hey, good people. It's Earth and Sojourner here. And I got a few things to say about the recent engagement of Bishop-elect Marvin L. Winans. First of all, I just want to say congratulations. Um, I wish them love and happiness. So why am I talking about this here on Earth and Sojourner's channel? Well, primarily because this is a channel about aging, aging older women, you know, aging black women. And there's an awful lot of black women out there who really truly believe that Marvin L. Winans was going to be their man. But let me say, ladies, he is off the market. <laughs> so just stop it. So I want to just take a little bit of time to talk about the three things that everybody's been talking about. First of all, the show me ring child. Secondly, I'm going to talk about that grandpa church hug. And then I just want to address the fact that he's been dating her for 15 years. And I might surprise you with what I have to say, because Marvin Winans was on my bucket list too. Not to be my man, but just to go to perfecting, um, to hear him sing in person, um, to hear him deliver the word. He's off the market, ladies. So I'm not really sure he was ever really on the market. <laughs> so I keep jokingly saying that he's off the market. You know, he um, has, relatively speaking, he's been pretty low key in terms of any uh, scandals or, or events for really um, long time, you know, for as much fame and for as many people who are familiar with and know him in the Winans family, you you know, he's not like really out there in terms of, you know, all this stuff happening and in the news. And there's been, you know, there's a few events that have happened over time, but I'm not sure he was ever really on the market from um, when you think about what that term means. Maybe I just don't know. But this is uh, my channel, so I get to say, I can't wait to see some of the comments. Um, I know I say first lady and I know that I'm going to see in the comments how that's not biblical. I could exchange that. I could do this over and say um, the the wife of a pastor of a mega church, but y'all know what I mean. He's off the market. So there's been a lot of conversations about the show me your ring child. It was awkward, definitely. Um, she looks a lot younger than him, but she isn't. Um, you know, they're perfect, perfectly, there's a perfectly reasonable and what is acceptable by society standards difference in their age. Certainly more reasonable than a lot of people. But you know, he might be from Detroit, but he's got some country in him. And so that child, you know, in the moment, it's what he said, but, and it might not have been the best choice of words, but nonetheless, you know, give the man a break. You know, you, you really couldn't see the ring anyway. It was just an introduction. He wanted to make sure that there was an understanding that this was not some sort of a gimmick or an act that he was actually um, engaged, that he had proposed. Um, he was engaged. There was a ring involved and there was a person involved also. So, you know, get over it, you know. I think that that's kind of died down because folks know that their age difference is really not, you know, 30 or 40 years. He's not some old grandpa man marrying um, somebody his granddaughter's age. So let's talk about the grandpa church hug. What did y'all want him to do? Stick his tongue down her throat? It was awkward too. 
<laughs> Maybe a peck on the cheek <laughs> might have made it a little less awkward. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe a lingering hand holding or something. But it was awkward. But they were in church and he's a bishop. He really isn't going to, you know, love her and feel her up in front of his congregation. He was trying to do a respectful introduction and announcement of his engagement. And I think he pulled that off. Her stance, however, was familiar. We do something very, uh, we do a fellowship um, greeting, a break in our church service where everybody kind of pre-pandemic, where everybody goes around and hugs each other and greets them, uh, a holy hug. And often you see women who have that same sort of stance. I think it's just this really respectful place to be in when you're in church and you don't want to do something that's full of PDA. So you kind of lean forward and you stick your butt out a little bit <clears throat> so that you're not, you know, like, like that during your hug. And, you know, give the man a break. Ladies, he's off the market. So the thing that I've heard the most um, criticism about in response to the video is the fact that they've dated for 15 years and he's they're just now announcing and making the decision that they're going to get married. So of course I read all of the comments on the different um, videos of the um, introduction of the and announcement of the engagement and you know so many folks were really um, really, really criticizing um, the 15-year wait and that it doesn't take anybody that long to make up their mind and why would she waste her, you know, 15 years of her life and, um, you know, for him to finally commit. And it's, it's interesting because we make the assumption that she's wasting her life and her time and that it's all because he won't commit. 15 years is a long time. However, we make the assumption that he couldn't make up his mind or that he couldn't commit. But let's look at this from a different angle. Maybe she was being prepared. And maybe she was being very thoughtful. Being a first lady, and I don't have personal experience, but I have friends who are first ladies, is no easy task. And she's going to be a first lady to a congregation that is very large. He's probably got panties in the offering plate, getting slip phone numbers at the altar. So, you know, let's, let's don't make no mistakes because he's a star. He's like, he's something like a rock star. And he's a very nice looking man. So for a lot of folks, he presents as a catch. And so... He's very committed also to his church congregation, to his academy, and to his music. And so she has a lot of things that she's going to have to, you know, share her husband with. And so to take some time and to think about whether or not that that's something that you really want to do is important. I'm, frankly, I'm, I'm glad that she you know, took the time to do it if that's what the 15-year wait was. I just want us to consider that maybe it wasn't all about him, that maybe it was some of her trying to figure out if this is something that I really want to take on and do. She also has to deal with the saints of the church. They're going to be holding her to a certain standard. Some of the saints, as we know, are going to be very critical. She may never, never live up to their standards. And so it's a decision that she can't take lightly. Does she have the stamina and does she have the chutzpah to actually deal with that or the desire? Because at some point, you know, you might not want to deal with all that hoopla and criticism and side eyes. And I hope that there's lots of support. So I want to say again, he's off the market. I'm still going to perfect it though. Still on my bucket list. I want to go 
hear him preach and hear him sing. And so although I'm bringing up the three things that folks were most critical of regarding the video of the announcement of their engagement, I'm also saying, give them a break. It, it is so hard to find um, a loving and lasting relationship without someone trying to tear it down in the world that we live in. Let, let's give them a chance. Um, let's let's welcome this relationship with open arms. Again, congratulations um, to Marvin L. Winans and his um, bride-to-be. I wish them nothing but the best. Um, I want to lift them up in prayer. I want to pray for peace and for steadfastness so that all of the stuff that might happen around them, all the doubters, all the haters, you know, in spite of, of what happens, you know, let these people be. Again, congratulations.